All right. So it's been about two hours probably. So go ahead and go with the Cardinal Tetris first. Just uh, jumped around a lot, man. They're just really excited. Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, he got me some good ones. Yeah, he gave you some good ones. Yeah. This, my friends, is why you have someone to check in. So that's the situation we ran into right now. You never know, you never know. I kind of figured those guys are pretty small. A little clown killies. Yeah, thankfully you didn't eat them. Those things are cool though. I don't like them. All right, let's go see what the supply cabinet has. Put some more water in here. Maybe a little bit, because the killie fish are jumpers. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put this guy over here on this side. You'll also want to keep the tank filtered with a seated form of media. I so happen to have a seated air stone that I've had in here for dang near ever. Like the year and some change and just keep going. Even whenever there's no fish in here, I'll just keep the remains in there a little bit. Not a whole bunch, but in the meantime, because we usually get fish frequently and then I'll clean it out with this guy and uh, go from there. But you can also use a seated sponge filter. I just don't happen to keep this one alive. So the fish will stay here in quarantine for a minimum of two weeks with no meds unless they show signs of needing it. I prefer not to have them endure that, but to each their own. And whenever they're in here, I do feed them regularly and I will clean out the poop with a net and I'll do a water change if they need to have it done. I usually just top it off with the little plumbing system that I have. And that's the life of a fish keeper on a weekend whenever they have some time and money to spend. All right, so before I let y'all go, I wanted to show y'all a practical uh, aquarium, I guess, medicine cabinet. So right here is what I have. I have Paragard. First, I got the internal parasite stuff. I got Paragard, Metronidazole, and Metroplex. You can put these dry powders inside of the food and get it inside of them. Uh, then I have the Melifix. Urine and this Focus and Canaplex. I've never really used these. These are powder form Sea uh, Chem as well. And those are antibacterial. <clears throat> those are going to treat like your open wounds, ulcers, if they have the damaged fins. Uh, essentially, that's what that's what those are going to cure. And then I have the Methylene Blue and Maricin. Those are antifungal. Those are going to treat your uh, like fin rot, fungal infections like Methylene Blue. And uh, after that, I have my ick eggs. Those are gonna be, you know, that's just for ick. You can also use 
aquarium salt, I would recommend not Epsom salt, but uh, Epsom salt does have its place. It's magnesium sulfate and you can treat ick with it. You also got dropsy and swim bladder disease with some constipation in there. And if you wanna use uh, some aquarium salt, which is actually pure sodium sulfate, then you can go ahead and make brackish water with that. Handle existing infections. You can disrupt parasites like velvet and ick. And then you can also fix wounds, fin rod. It's pretty much a catch-all. And underneath I have my few uh, ferts. These guys, these are my dry powder uh, medications. You have your general cure and paracleans. Those are pretty much for internal parasites. And you have your furin, which is gonna be your antibacterial. And then you have your fungus, is just your antifungal. And then you got this guy for open sores, fin rot, body slime, eye cloud, cloudy eye, uh, hemorrhages. And this one is pretty much a catch-all too. And it does help with internal parasites as well, so. That's pretty much what I have going on for the uh, medicine cabinet. And that's what I would use if I had to with my aquarium uh, fish that are gonna be going in there or the existing aquarium fish that I do, that I do have. And also be careful with the salts uh, as they're not uh, plant or invertebrate friendly. And also watch out whenever you're adding it to a tank with fish that don't have scales like armored catfish, Corydoras and your plecos. So anyway, now we're done.